A local woman has finally returned home after being stranded on a cruise ship off the coast of South America. Will Ewick spoke with her about her trip, a journey complicated by a coronavirus outbreak. I don't like to sound dramatic, but it was a nightmare. It was certainly something that no one expected. Lynn Remley is a world traveler. The 77-year-old has taken five to six major trips a year for the last 55 years, going to every continent and every ocean. But her all-time favorite experience... Sable Island has a population of feral horses. And being a horse addict, I had always wanted to see them. And we were the first group of tourists ever to be allowed ashore. One of her least favorite experiences came last month after boarding the Zadam cruise ship to tour the coast of South America. We were doing very well until about the 14th of March. That was the last time we went off the ship. Some of the passengers and crew members started to show symptoms of the coronavirus, which prompted the captain to confine passengers to their rooms. And I think you start to feel that confinement. Again, I don't like to sound melodramatic, but it, it, I suddenly had this thought that for heaven's sake, I, I could die. After days of uncertainty, finally assistance arrived in the form of a second cruise ship which took on healthy passengers like Lynn before both ships eventually docked and started sending passengers home. Now, about a month after she left, Lynn is finally back in Boston Heights. Well, it was certainly a, a very bad experience. The consolation was that my feeling during the entire trip was that we were in very good hands. Now under self-quarantine, Lynn passes the time by going on socially distant walks, taking care of her cats and getting caught up on some much overdue reading. As much as she loves to travel, that love may only be matched by her love of a good book. After being stranded on a cruise ship and now isolated at home, what does she miss most? Coming here to the Hudson Library. I'm the president of the Friends of the Hudson Library, and I'm looking forward to, to getting back to that. As far as future travel goes, Lynn says she's done with cruises for a while, but she's actually been stranded overseas twice before, so this wasn't, pardon the pun, uncharted waters. It's, it's a very bad feeling to be separated from home by an entire ocean. Will Ewick. In the meantime, about all there is to do is to enjoy the leisure as much as you can. Three news.